The following program is brought to you by the Internet Broadcasting Organization. First thing you're going to say is, where the hell is Al Alvarez? This is behind the scenes. This isn't the Joel Weinkoop show. I know. Tell them where, uh, this is my beautiful wife, Kathy Weinkoop, by the way. Tell our audience, the behind the scenes audience, just, it's like, what was that show that was just, where in the hell is Elizabeth's shoe? Or it was some lady it that, was it, like was that. it Elizabeth's shoe? I don't think Where so. the hell is, is Carmen Santiago? I knew that! Chris is always trying to butt in. Jump on my bandwagon. Something. Where in the hell is Al Al Alvarez? Well, Al is at the Sunscreen Film Festival. The Sunscreen Film Festival. Just yes. what in the hell is he doing there, Kathy? He's probably watching movies. He's watching movies. And you know what else he's doing? He, he's working the red carpet. Oh, 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 I didn't know he was doing that. He's there with Doug Vader's. Uh, like interviewing? Yeah, that's my gig. Yeah. So what, what the hell, man? Al just saunters on over to the sunscreen wow. festival walks in goes hey doug do you mind if wow. i steal joel's uh gig here and he stole i stole it he stole it oh my god doug was like calling me wow. up joel can you do the sunscreen and i was like yeah. yeah and then al called up and he was like you know uh i need you to run the show because uh my foot hurts Wow. So I came in here, and then I get a phone call, and Al's going, ha ha, Wait. joke's on you, I'm with, I'm with Doug. Man. And Doug is mad, mad as hell, and he's not going to take it anymore. I thought Doug called him. Huh? I thought Doug called Al. Don't make this more complicated oh, than okay, it needs sorry. to be, okay? Sorry. Okay, oh, thank nice. you. Hey, yes, anyway, uh, Joel Weinkoop, Kathy Weinkoop are here behind the scenes. Al Alvarez is out, believe it or not, with, with uh, Doug Vader's on the red carpet at the Sunscreen Film Festival. Is Where the his, hell is that? Is, is that in St. Pete? foot still hurt? His foot still hurts. Oh, okay. It's a, there was the ambulance in the background. Did you hear that? I heard it. That was it. I heard it. They might be bringing him in the back way. Oh. But that, that's where he's at, and we have a blank walls. Notice our walls are blank. Usually there's like a, a Lost Faith poster there. And there's a, a Joel D. Wanku poster for the other side. And there's Herschel Gordon Lewis's The Uh Oh Show. And there's nothing because Al didn't tell me where anything was. He took it all. He took it all. He took it all. Now, speaking of taking it all, we do actually have kind of a cool <clears throat> show because there's lots of stuff going on right now. And Kathy, if you don't mind, would you hand me that copy of Creep there? Absolutely. I want to show some things off here. Um, this is one of my movies here. It's called uh, Creep. Uh, this is the Joel D. Wankup Collection Presents Creep. It's kind of a cool little package. What this is, is um, it has an introduction from me, then it plays the movie, and then it's got a lot of bloopers and such like that. If we can set that one back there, sure. my dear. And then we also have one called, that's, uh, if you can hand me that one, all wrapped up. This is kind of what I want to tell you about is kind of some movie making, independent filmmaking that goes on across uh, the country. Um, this is a movie uh, called uh, All Wrapped Up, and uh, it is by Jason LaCory of Hocus Focus Productions. Uses a lot of um, actors uh, from the area, the Orlando area, of course down here in Tampa, um, up in Apopka, where, where Jason was from. Jason's now moved, I believe, to North Carolina. Is it North Carolina? North Carolina. Yeah. But uh, this is one of his movies. Uh, um, um, all wrapped up. It's four short stories. I'm in three of them playing different characters. There you go, baby. Thank you. And that that one there, if you wouldn't mind handing me that. And this one here is a movie I did down in um, St. Paul, Minnesota. It's called Strip... I know how to put it down, Chris! What do you think? I'm blind? Huh? I wasn't going to say anything, but... You're such a tough guy. Yeah, I know. I, I'm never going to mess with you. I know that. I know it. <laughs> anyway, Strip Club Slasher. We shot this in St. Paul, Minnesota. Flew down there to do this. And it was funny because my wife said she, she read the script and she said, Boobs, lesbians, blood, your part. Lesbians, boobs, blood, your, your part. part. And that's what the movie's about. Yes. There you go, baby. And that, oh, I can get this oh, one. This and 
then we have Joel D. Wynkoop's collection of Lost Faith, which was recently released by Cult Movie Mania. But this is kind of a little retro package here. Wop, wop, wop. It's like 3D. Ooh. Oh, oh. <gasps> she dropped it. Anyway, that's uh, Joel D. Weinkoop's uh, Lost Faith. And you can see all these things at if you go to um, subarosastudios.com or if you go to cultmoviemania.com or hocusfocusproductions.com. And here's Wicked Games. It's another one of my movies. Uh, Wicked Games, Truth at Air, Part 2. And um, this is a cool movie. We uh, Tim Ritter and I did this in um, the West Palm Beach area. So what I'm kind of hinting on is there's a lot of independent filmmaking going on, a lot of actors, a lot of people that are trying to get into the industry. And it's very tough work. I've been in it for like 30 years. I know people that have just started like six years ago. And and, it's, and some of them are like, man, you know, uh, when am I going to get paid? I'm going to get paid. It took me like 15 years before I made any money. Um, here's another one of my uh, movies. It was, uh, well, it's actually John Martin, um, uh, not of this world. It's, uh, it's uh, I think there's seven short stories in here. I think so. It's a Christian sci-fi. Sci-fi. Yeah, sci-fi. 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 We're going to talk about a sci-fi show coming up, too. So this is uh, Not of This World by John Martin Productions. And New, new Parable... Films. Newparablefilms.com, yes. And then uh, this is another one by uh, Jason LaCorey. It is, um, again, Hocus Focus Production presents Death Plots. And if you see, that's Debbie Rashan is in the cover there. And I think uh, there was four short stories, and I played two in this one. Uh, I think uh, there's three, maybe four. Three. I think there's four. Maybe four, okay. And if you'll hand me that bloodlust there, baby. Uh, Florida Motion Picture Association. I don't believe they have a chapter in Florida anymore, but they still have one over on the East Coast. I think West Palm still has one, and they have one that would be in Florida. up in Melbourne. I mean, well, I'm talking about the one here. I meant the one here. They don't in have Tampa. one here anymore. The yeah. Tampa one's gone, I you believe. Said, you said Florida. So. Uh, Flo what? This side of Florida and this little quarter side of West Florida. Side. Anyway, Bloodlust, uh, something I did for the um, Florida Motion Picture TV Association. Someone just told me tonight, they go, oh, that looked like a tough part for you. Andrew Allen told me that because I got these two girls are on, on top of me here. A month after jo we were married, just saying. Yeah. Just saying. Joanne Shiz and Anne-Marie Pizzuzzo. And, yeah. Oh, thanks, baby. Oh, we got to give Greg, Greg Lassar some credit. This is Greg was very, very creative with this cover. This is Doggo. Yeah. By Greg Lassar over in uh, Greg Lassar's a film professor professor over in what the the Tampa the Tampa um, Art Institute Art Institute of Tampa and yeah. the other one that I always University get the two of Tampa is it the University of Tampa uh, the Art Institute Academy of Design yeah. or the Institute, Technology? Of, uh, the Institute of the oh, Institute of Art anyway this is Doggo see AI so oh there is a picture of Greg on the back okay. I star in the I star in the video but. Greg's on the cover. Is he okay. even in the movie? I get that. Like no. for two seconds? No, yeah, he's yeah. like two seconds. Then, he's it, on then, the it, cover. then it turns into me. Um, this is a movie called uh, Truth at Air. Uh, again, this is from my uh, um, my distributor from uh, Subrosa Studios. And uh, it was one of the first movies we did. Uh, we did um, Twisted Illusions was our first movie, and then we got a million dollars to do this one. Do we get a close-up on this? No. No. There you go. Truth or dare. Did you ever play that when you were a kid? Truth or dare. And uh, this is available through Sub Rosa Studios also. Um, very cool movie. One of the first, like I said, one of the first ones we did. Um, and then there's a movie I did for uh, Nicola Cuddy, who is, and again, I'm saying this stuff because this is stuff that's shot locally here in town. Uh, Nicola Cuddy uh, was the, uh, worked at uh, DC Comics and Marvel Comics. He also wrote the storyline for the Spider-Man Daredevil team up, which was, uh, and that's Lost in Transit. It's my first kids movie. It's like rated G through the children's board. Um, but that was uh, Nicola Cuddy. He worked for Marvel Comics, DC. He wrote the storyline where Spider-Man and Daredevil, Daredevil of course is blind, and Spidey loses his sight, and he's kind of freaking out, and, and Daredevil is teaching Spider-Man how to be able to see. Of course, he's got his spider senses, but uh, really cool, and, and uh, Nick moved back to here. He also worked for Filmation, and he worked on Starship Troopers, the big movie, and the animated uh, version. Um, he also, yeah, worked for uh, uh, Filmation, and uh, back here in town now, doing his own thing. He's got Mooney and the Spider Queen, but this is all Again, local stuff right here. Um, Screaming for Sanity was uh, Truth at Air Part 3. Uh, Tim and I did this movie back in, I think it was like 96, I want to say. 1996. And... Um that was uh, pretty cool. Uh, it was a lot of fun to shoot it, a lot of fun to do it. One, two, and oh, three. this is one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Kathy's handing me one, two, and three. Let's see if I can get those over there. Where can I get that camera? It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of. What do you call that? Lagging. But there's truth that error. 
Wicked Nerd. Truth or Dare Truth 1, or Dare. Wicked Games, Truth or Dare 2, and Screaming for Sanity, Truth or Dare 3. Yeah. That's those bad awesome. boys there. Um, and then shortly after that, we did a movie called Creep, which got a lot of notoriety. Now, on Creep, it was um, Kathy Willis was in this, and Kathy Willis was a self proclaimed nymphomaniac. Her husband was actually uh, in a closet videotaping her. Uh, she was having sex with the mayor of Fort La I think it was the mayor, lawyers, police officers, detectives. Uh, it was a very, very big scandal. Can you get a close up on that? There it is. Creep, that's Kathy Willets. Yeah. Anyway, um, yes, uh, that was a very, very big scandal back in 1992, I think. And Tim and I wanted to contact her. And we were like, why would she ever want to work for us? Uh, 1994 rolls around, and her husband, uh, Jeff, called us on the phone. He goes, hey, I want to get my wife in one of your movies. Because uh, we were doing movies all the time. So it was kind of cool. Again, a local thing done right here in town. Uh, this is one of my, probably one of my favorite movies. Uh, a lot of people know this uh, uh, film director is Herschel Gordon Lewis, the godfather of gore. He did Blood Feast and 10,000 Maniacs and all those, all those movies. Um, back like in the 60s, early 70s, Herschel was doing these, and this one was a very fun movie to do. Uh, we shot it right here, or we shot it over in St. Pete. Herschel Gordon Lewis's The Uh Oh Show. Uh, Brooke McCarter uh, starred in it with myself. Uh, Brooke McCarter was in The Lost Boys, and he played Paul. Yeah, I think he played. I, I think he played Paul the vampire. The Just get a quick close up on that. Blonde hair. Yeah, long blonde, blonde hair. hair. <gasps> what? You have Al right in the show. A close up of this, and then we'll take Al. Let's make this uh -oh. movie turn into Al. He called. He did. He scared. Does he know we're here? He knows we're here. Okay. He better. Okay. This uh oh show will now magically become Al Alvarez. <laughs> what do you want? I'm trying to run a show here. The password for the internet over there. The yeah, password is I'm going to yeah, punch you right in the nose. The yeah, I'm going to knock you out is right. What? Hello? It, yeah. Yeah, punch you out. All right, Doug, get it together. We ain't got the whole night. So we do stick figures since he's not here? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. That looks right there. That looks... That, okay. that looks funny because you were like, <laughs> you were like, <laughs> you're getting close to people. Like, whoa, it's X rated. What's... What happened? Where's Al? We, we lost him. We just like, oh. we lost him. Man. Man. Okay, I want to talk about Twisted Illusions. Yeah. Twisted Illusions Two is one of the, our movies we did back in uh, 1999, and and Kathy no. here. No, that was 98. No. 2000. 2000. 2001. 2002. 2002. Kathy, help me with this. Uh, we did uh, The Part. Yes. Uh, uh, Twisted Illusions 2, and it was called The Part. We shot it here. Uh, John Bowker did his short up in uh, Washington, I think. Tim did his in Kentucky. So. Dexter Deadbeat, which is really, really funny. Really funny. And it's uh, short in the vein of, uh, like our first one was Twisted Illusions. This is in the vein of the Twilight Twilight Zone movie. And there it is there. And all these, well, not all of these, but this one, like this one here, can be seen at subrosa.com. Twisted Illusions 2. And uh, have we got Al back yet? Not yet. Damn. <gasps> ah! Okay. And then, see, we're going to push by this stuff real quick. And then there's Before I Die, which was, um, who is Before I Die? That's Phil Herman? Yes. That's Phil Herman, F video, out of uh, New York City. Kathy and I uh, did a short in here called Time for Dessert. Yeah. And, uh, again, it's uh, locally. We're doing it locally Before I Die, but it was made for... Um, uh, uh, Phil Herman of New York New City York. Mm -hmm. and uh, Phil does a lot of his own movies there too and what we did it was just um, shot one of the segments for him which is another thing a lot of times these filmmakers what you can do is you can shoot something here in Florida and then send that on and have that put into a movie so it's not they might want you to just shoot one segment you can send them all the footage and they have to cut it together what do we got there? Fall of an actor The Fall of an Actor Alright we got The Fall of an Actor um, this is I'm not even sure but I'm going to have this up on my site pretty soon uh, www dot joel d winecoop dot com is going to have well this is the fall of an actor we have a new mm -hmm. cover coming for fall of an actor but this right. is damien hewlett and his father's garland hewlett um hit their version is a movie version the fall of an actor mine is a documentary called fall of an actor so that's kind of cool too because that's one of the things you can do please get that image off there <laughs> when there's no movie there. Nobody wants to see my crotch. Okay. Well, thank you, baby. Yeah. Uh, then uh, Sleazebox by the guys that brought you American Holocaust. 
because they're my buddies. Uh, John Miller and Chris Woods. This is Make Them Die Sleazy. I always say I want to do the guy on TV. I told Chris I want to I want to shoot a commercial with um, two gorgeous girls there. Um, uh, kind of like almost nude, but not quite. Kind of kind of naked, but not really? quite. Yeah, and we're really? and I'm talking to them, and then all of a sudden I'll I'll look at the camera and I'll go. Stay sleazy, my friends. Kind of like naked, but not like quite. That. It's the Dosakis guy. Dosakis. Dosak. Dosakis. Dosakis. The guy with the beard. <laughs> and then what do we got? Now? And then Dirty Com No Donut. Yeah, we shot this for like three hundred dollars, and it was one of our most successful uh, <laughs> movies. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, My Dirty Cop No Donuts. And Kathy was actually uh, uh, in the commentary, commentary of this along with me. Well, you didn't and, mention I was in any of the other movies that I. Was well, in. which other ones were? Uh, did I say you were in Before I Die? I'm also in. Watch out. Oh, there it is. Thank you. I'm also in the fall. He knows I'm to bring that I'm to me. I'm in Bloodlust. I'm in... Kathy's in Bloodlust? Uh, this one, All Wrapped Up. I'm in Not of This World. You're in All Wrapped Up? I'm in... Not of This World. You're, um, who are you in Not of This World? I don't remember my name. <laughs> oh, you were... Um, uh, was it Paula or something like that? No, I can't uh, even remember Polly? either. Polly? Polly. Polly. With yeah. Ed Walker Jr. Yeah, and then I was also Again, in... Again, shot here in town. Death Plots. So, just saying. And Twisted Illusions too. you're And in. Twisted Illusions too. But and Twisted know. Illusions too. so. Yeah, but, you know, whatever. You didn't drink it all that at once? I, I am. I am. Oh. Uh, that was Dirty Cop. Oh, and then there's uh, Angel Avengers, Brimstone. This is pretty cool. This is by um, uh, uh, John's Gonna Kill Me. It's by um, Bill Black and uh, John Gottschall. That's right, Angel Avengers, and you can find this at cultretro.com. Uh, this is like kind of like a it's kind of got a the Charlie's Angels vibe going on. Um, uh, Anthony Wayne is in this with me, and other guys, Slim Whitaker's in this with me. I play like an evil kind of mob boss in that, mm -hmm. and that's a lot of fun because it's uh, there. We are down there again. Oh man, okay, there we go. We're gone. <laughs> Chris, killing you, buddy. You're killing me. I'm trying to get Al on the phone for you. Right, oh, you're trying to get Al. Oh, wait, I think we got this one. You think we got him? Where are you? Oh, hold on. Hold on. What in the hell do you want? What? We're trying to do a show, Al! We've got actresses, we've got actors, we've got cameramen. It's just a big to do out here. I hear the Palladium Theater. Joel, what are you doing? Who's your guest? Well, you, 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 I'm trying to do a show here, Al. You need to get a show. I'm trying to do a show. It was really hard to hear because of the massive crowds. They're waiting, they're fighting, they're fighting the tickets at the door. Well, tell them to spin the camera around so Kathy and I can see. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. This is why I hate Skype. Why don't you just come over here and see me? It's Chris No, we're supposed to blame everything on Gary. Look it up at sunscreenfilmfestival.com. And guess what? The best online streaming show in in the business. Yeah, well, tell everybody to shut the hell up so I can hear you. Check us out behind the scenes, 6.30 to 7.30, every Thursday night. Thank you, Joel, for Gary Navarro seeing that you're the only guy I call. Peace to you, brother. Come down, to the, come down tomorrow and we'll have a drink. All if you're buying. Did he hear anything I had to say? No, he wasn't talking. He didn't hear a damn thing. He, he was just doing it. Well, blah, 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 blah. Now he's out. Now you see we're out. Did he hear anything I was saying? No. Probably not. I had, Pro I had you cranked up as high as I could. He wasn't talking about it. Okay, he kept doing this. Yeah. He just, was blabbing, blabbing. But it was blabbing. nice to see him. There's a lot of noise going on in the background, too. There was. So. There was. All right, enough of Al. We're back to this. Angel Avengers Metal Gypsy. Uh, another uh, comic book movie come to life. And uh, it's with um, Jennifer Trist. Mm-hmm. Who a lot of people know from, um, and not really Rocky Horror Picture Show, but she's Mike Marin's friend, who's on Al's show. I set Mike up to come in and talk to Al. Uh, and she is a beautiful lady, mm -hmm. and she does like the Ren Fair stuff, belly dancing. Mm -hmm. So Jennifer Trist, gorgeous girl, metal gypsy. And then we have Joel D. Winecoop's Lost Faith. This is our last movie of the night, Lost Faith, and this is available at cultmoviemania.com. Check it out. Watch. Get a good wide shot here, Chris. You ready? You ready for a wide shot? Good. We're done with that crap. All right. We're moving on. Now, right I want to tell you. And there's one right there. Okay. Now they're all. Just leave them here. I don't want them. 
Anyway, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna move on now. And yes. what did I say we were gonna talk about tonight? Oh, you know what? Let's do something. You know, no, let's talk about something first. What did okay. I say? What was one of the things I said I was gonna talk about tonight? This on the cards? Yeah. Uh, well, we were gonna talk about up all night. Let's do that, shall we? Okay. All right. Do you want to tell the audience who Rhonda Shear is? Well, she used to host a show back in what the eighties. In the eighties, yep. Up all night. Yep. On USA. Up all night. Yep. Or, or no, excuse me. Up all night. There you go. And uh, it was. It's kind of like B movies that they showed. I think. I said that, and I think Dan told me it was more like skin, but I thought, I thought, well, yeah, there was some, but I think eh. there was still the horror movies. I don't know if they were Friday the 13th, yeah, but yeah, yeah, Ronnie Shears Up All Night. Up All Night. Most yep. people would remember it. Yeah. And, and go ahead. No, oh, okay. Well, I was going to say is that she is starting her show up again. She's had her first two episodes have been on television on, is it M-O-R, W-M-O-R, -O M-O-R? Yeah, 32, is that? 38. 38. Yeah. And it's on 2.30 in the morning. And uh, kind of cool because I just talked to one of the producers tonight and he wants me to come in and do some bumpers for the Ronda Shears Up All cool. Night, which would be kind of cool. So I can go on there and say, you know, it's Joel Wank of King of the Bee Movies and you're watching Ronda Shear Up All Night. Okay. You up All Night. No, no. You have to go Up. All night. Up. Oh, that sounds terrible when a guy does it. Yeah, it but sounds that's stupid. how she does it. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to go, up all night. No, it's up all night. Chris wants to do it. That's what she says. What would you say? That's what she says. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're looking forward to that. But the other thing is, Rhonda Shear's, um, Rhonda Shear, up all night dot com. What's kind of cool about this is she's giving a lot of filmmakers, whether you got videos or movie clips mm -hmm. or you want to do skits, uh, you can send them into animators. her website, huh? Animation, too. A animation. Singers. Singers, if you got something like that. And, and, and that's what this show is tonight because it's called Behind the Scenes, so that's what I'm trying to cover. I did want to give a little background on myself and the movies and Kathy and stuff, but I, I got some stuff that's kind of cool that I want everybody to know about. And that's one thing a lot of actors out there... If you're a video production guy, you know, Chris is a video guy. Chris makes these uh, little... He's Chris an audio makes, guy. Chris, Chris, no, no, Chris is a video guy. Chris he makes No, no, guy. he doesn't do audio. He's a video guy, <laughs> and he, he, likes to strut, he likes to strut around in, in a thong every once in a while. But doing audio. And, but doing audio yeah. work. He, well, he goes around with the camera, but he Gary videotapes it, and then he sells I thought he had a boom it on the internet. He has a boom. Oh, he's got a boom, all <laughs> he's right. Got a boom, all Chris right. has got a boom, all right. <laughs> Let me tell you. I walk Wait, around with a boom. I, I won't tell you nothing about that. She, she told me that. <laughs> anyway, it's RhondaShearUpAllNight.com, which is very much worth going to and checking out. I said this in front of like 85 people at Dan Brienne's Zombie nice. Film Challenge. That and everybody, I said, hey, everybody, RhondaShearUpAllNight.com. This is what she's doing. I explained it all, and everybody looked at me like, I don't care. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You're getting that opportunity. So RhondaShearUpAllNight.com. Check it out. Yeah. Anyway, and then, so now we're going to move on a little bit. I want to talk about... Um, something kind of cool. It's it's when you get involved, you know, because because I'm an actor, you're you're an actress, mm -hmm. and when you get involved, when you're going to do a movie and you want to do a scene for a movie, you kind of want to get yourself right in that complete zone, right? And and you really want to go for it. When we were shooting Joel and Lankum's The Other Side, mm -hmm. uh, do you remember episode nine? These were all on television um, on local um, the Tampa area through um, Tampa Bay Community Network. And um, it was episode nine. Remember when my character had disappeared for three shows mm -hmm. and everybody had been called into the Space Time Organization, which is Heroes Haven. We'll be talking about that in a minute, too. But Heroes right. Haven was actually the backdrop for our um, our office when we came from right. the opposite the Earth to this Earth. The what? Headquarters. The headquarters, like the right. And there's a scene in there where there's a, all the Space Time agents have been called in. Mm -hmm. And they're all been called in to talk to Kathy, who plays the captain on, on the television show The Other Side. And Anthony Wayne plays my partner. And what I want to do is show you a clip, because I was so proud of Anthony. What I did was take Anthony Wayne, who's uh, been like my number one go-to guy for actor and, until he moved out of the country. But he's a freaking awesome, great actor. And I took him, uh, the, we had, uh, well, how many people were there, 12? We had Barbara Wilcox, uh, uh, Amy cool. Fox, Al, Al Alvarez, <laughs> James Knowlton, Mikey Pelias. Um, Michael Browning, uh, Leslie Blevins, yeah. um, Jules Bob, Ciaro, Bob Glazier, Bob Glazier, the other guy, Robert A. Collins, Robert James Collins. Santiago, yeah, uh, um, uh, what's that other guy? There's a couple other people we're, Bob, we're forgetting. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, anyway, Bless a lot of very, 
good, you know, talented actors there. Patrick McCall. Nice. Patrick McCall, don't you ever say that I ignore you, mister. Yeah. Pat, Pat, yeah. Yeah. Patrick McCall. Say his name. Patrick McCall. Patrick A. McCall. Patrick A. McCall. There you go. <laughs> say it again. Patrick A. McCall. Patrick A. McCall. Patrick a. We're saying McCall. your name, man. Even Chris is saying it. Patrick A. McCall. See? Patrick A. McCall. So don't ever post on Facebook, Joel hates me, he never talks about me. Patrick A. McCall. Who's your favorite actor, Patrick Kathy? Patrick A. McCall. Ask me who mine is. Who's your favorite actor, Joel? Patrick A. McCall. Who's your favorite actor, Chris? Joel Weinkoop. <laughs> oh, Chris. Patrick, we love you, man. Anyway, Patrick was one of the Space Time guys. Yes, he was. And we were all there, and I actually took Anthony by the arm, and I took him outside of Heroes Haven, because the whole crowd is in there. I go, listen, Anthony. I go, hey, man. This is your scene. Anybody starts to say something back to you, you shut them down. I said, you are in the moment. You are uh, uh, Davis, which his, na his name on the other side was Tindar. But when we came to this earth, uh, Captain Aurora, played by Kathy, uh, tells us we have to take on human names from this earth. Uh, everybody was like Tindar, Dontar, uh, Tyree. Uh, who was Ken Anthony? Remember, he played a bad guy. He was, um, ah, it doesn't matter. I can't remember right now. I'll remember it later. Was he Tyree? But, uh, no, Ty was Tyree. Max was Tyree. Yeah. Oops. She already forgot. Anyway, they're the great scenes. So you ought to see them because they're fun. the bloopers are funny. Yeah. But anyway, I took Anthony outside. I said, I want you to be intense, Anthony. I said, you, you play a lot of the comedy in this. And uh, But this time, I want you to be very, very, very intense. Anybody says anything to you when you're in there, if they're like they try to talk to you or something, shut them down. This is all you, Anthony. You command the scene. So I put a clip on YouTube, and I call it Anthony commands the scene. I want you all, any, any, any actors out there that are there saying, you know, I want to get into acting. You know, what do I got to do? This, to me, is a very intense scene from my good friend, Anthony Wayne. Watch this now on Al Alvarez's Behind the Scenes. Guest hosted by Joel Weinkoop and Kathy Weinkoop. Here it is. Play the clip. Anthony Wayne commands the scene. He's not going any. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, Christ, right. Nice to see you again, man. What's going on? All right, man. All right. What's going on? I got a couple coming up here. All right. Said something important. He trained me too, but I haven't seen much of him. He's a legend, though. Yeah, I mean, he's trained all of us, but I mean, the last time I saw him, but for him to go missing, man. Yeah, that's not like him. I mean, he's pulled all of us out of some really bad situations. Well, what, are the, what are the individuals that you see before you get out in the field? I don't clear my missions with anyone but the captain. Yeah, well, right now you're going to clear your missions with me. Oh, hey, 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 Stop I got to shut that thing right down your throat. I'd like to see you do that all the time. I'm going to go I'm Bobby Cooper. I'm in charge when Captain Henry was not here. Put the guns down now! Put it down. Put it down. Thank you. I should be here in a few minutes. Let's call it down. Good work, Coop. Thank you. Where's the captain? She's dealing with paperwork right now. She'll be here in a few minutes. Wait. You've been waiting a long time? Just wait. Gathering intelligence takes time, guys. You know that. You spawned that. He trained us. I know, and he's breaking protocol, but there may be a reason for it. We, if that's the case, we have to go with his wishes and honor. I hope he's all right, because if he's not all right... He taught you, he taught me, he taught everybody in this room. Most of us here owe our lives to him to begin with, so... And I'm willing to return the favor. That action. I hope so. 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 I hope
Oh, right now we're hey. so so where have you been? So we're just trying to get to the bottom of what's going on. It's under Eric. Yeah, we'll team up on this one. Oh, yeah. What's going on over here? Hey, Davis. Ten dog. How's it going? What's going on here? I have no idea. Yeah, we've been called here. We've been sitting around. Half of these guys been here overnight. We still don't know. We have no clue what's going on. I was hoping maybe you could shed some light on that. Oh, I know as much as you guys do. Trying to figure out exactly what's going on, but for some reason, no one seems to have answers for us. Alright, go on. Tough. I'm meant to stand around. If I'm not killing, I'm not a happy Amen on that. Amen on that. We'll say the word. I'm ready to rock and roll. Now, I've got a lot of, a lot of hate. What is his problem? <laughs> I tend to wonder about him from the beginning. <laughs> there they go. Oh, Bobby, what have you been doing? There they go yeah. again. Everything good? Hanging in there, man. No, Hanging in there. Man. Yeah, yeah. Good. Looking for a man. I'm to take that one. Up. So. That was the power feel. Okay. Yeah. This is a new situation. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a Yeah, this is good. Yeah. What's going on? Hey! Hey! Bro, we in a high school reunion? This isn't right. You know why we're here? While you're all having fun, doing everything that you're doing, talking about your lives, okay? There's a man out there who's helped every single one of you. He's taught every single one of you something. He's taught me a lot. And he's out there, and you people just don't care. It's not that we don't no, care. It, I'm not going to listen to you, okay? I'm talking now, right? You listen to me. He's out there. He needs our help. He's been gone for eight months. I wasn't allowed to go. He's the only friend I really have, okay? I know we all don't know each other because we all don't work together most of the time. <laughs> and I'm not going to put up with this. I'm going to do something about it. Tyree taught you, you, you. You, and you, everybody, something. He even trained a kill squad. He trained every single one of you. He's done something for each and every one of you. If it wasn't for him, none of you would be here right now. So think about that. You're right. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, that's from The Other Side, Episode 9. It was our television show that it actually did air on TV. So that was pretty awesome to have that on television. What I mean by that now, too, is a lot a lot of the stuff, a lot of the way we worked, Kathy can tell you for sure, because she'll be like, oh, there, yeah. is there no script? There is no script. Anthony showed up one day at Heroes Haven before we were going to shoot a scene, and Anthony goes... What are we shooting today, boss? And I looked at Anthony and I said, I, I got no clue. Got and he was like, what? And he's got uh, Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth was with him. Catherine Elizabeth. Yeah, Catherine Elizabeth was with him. And she's like, he, does, he doesn't know what he's going to shoot. And Anthony mm -hmm. goes, this is the way he works. Okay. I go, give me 10 minutes. I went to the back of Heroes Haven, looked at the alley. I stood there for 10 minutes, came back. I go, I got two shows. Let's shoot them. And we shot two shows that day. Yeah. <laughs> so... This thing, though, it was supposed to be, you know, the crowd of people, you know, everybody's kind of, first they're serious, then they're joking, and then they're dating, and they're whatever, and with each other, and then that's when I told Anthony, you're going to shut it down, and that's why, when you're acting, just, you can get really intense, and something like that was an improv shoot, but I took Anthony aside, I said, this is yours, this is what I want, command the scene, now go for it, and do it. That was his prep, I just told him, this is what I want you to do, and the guy did it. Um... So I just wanted to share that with you. To any of our uh, our acting audience, if you're out there and you, you love making, if you want to make movies, cool. If you want to make movies, if you're an actor, uh, you know, uh, and you want to do movies or television commercials or whatever, sometimes you got to put yourself in that frame of mind, you know, to carry something out. So uh, I just wanted to share that scene with you. I thought it was great with Anthony Wayne commanding the scene. So uh, that was from uh, uh, Joel D. Winecoops, The Other Side, Episode 9. Uh, another thing I want to... Which what? Yes. is available for purchase. At, at uh, Joel D. Winecoops, the other side.com. What, what? Absolutely. Joel D. Winecoops, the other side. 
Dot com. So for everybody that said, oh, if you had PayPal, I'd buy it. Well, we have PayPal. So yeah, it's there it. now. So you Dorks. can go there and check out the other side. They have PayPal. Yes, go we do. It. So we'll, we'll, yes, we'll we expect do. to see your name on a, on a PayPal document or something. Pay or PayPal. Whatever. PayPal, what? Pay, PayPal? Ooh, I don't PayPal? know. Oh, I was going to do this, but PayPal. I'm going to do this one first. Guess what's coming up this Saturday? Free comic book day? Free comic book day at Heroes Haven. That's right. That's practically across the street from this studio, but you got to get oh, you know, past all the, yeah, the trees yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's at 4339 Gun Highway uh, uh, here, right here in Tampa. That's Saturday, May 3rd, from 10 o'clock to actually 9. Oh. I guess they changed it or something. Okay. But it's Heroes Haven Free Comic Book Day. Now, this is pretty cool. I'm going to be a guest there. I'll be there with all, all my movies that I threw on the floor. Hopefully, none of them broke. If they do, you probably get a discount. My all gosh. right. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Yeah. Sweet baby back ribs. Woohoo! Yeah. Chris thinks I'm going to drink that. He's yeah, nuts. Anyway, I'm glad that cap was on. Um, right? <laughs> so am I. Yeah, I know, because it might have spilled <laughs> over there. All right, that's Heroes Haven coming up. Uh, free comic book day. That's this Saturday at 4339 Gun Highway, Tampa, Saturday, May 3rd, 10 to, nine, uh, 10 to 9 p.m. And there's going to be Spider-Man will be there and Thor and Iron Man and, and Vader and Boba Fett and Stormtroopers. And, 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 and Godzilla is going to stop in and go, Wah! Comics. And, it, we'll and comic, comic books. books. Free comic book day. The first, I think it's the first 100 people. Check the website. But I think or it's the first 100 people get 150 comic books for free. Oh, maybe that's it. I thought yeah. it was the first 150. I don't know. I don't know. It's something it's like something that. You just get there early and you get some comic yeah. books, all right? Now, also coming up. Do you do know what else is coming books? up? Huh? Do we get comics? I hope books? so. Pete, I want some comics, too. You know, I, all kinds, because there's like Archie and yeah. then half naked women comics what? and Spider Man comics, and I know. Also coming up soon because we're running out of time already. I'm sorry, see how, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See how, and we started 15 minutes late. Yeah, we did. It's and, Gary's fault. Oh, that's right. Blame that's right. We Gary. blame Gary here. Yes. Whoever's not here gets the blame. It's Gary's fault. fault. Uh, Al, it's not me. Uh, I'm doing a good job. We were here. Kathy's doing a good job. We We've here. been here. We've been here since 6:10. Yeah. All right. But now coming to Barto. Uh, uh, it's called Barto Sci-Fi. It is a convention, a Star Trek science fiction convention. They're going to have a life-size TARDIS there. Uh, Doctor Who uh, memorabilia is going to be there. Doctor Who fan club. They're going to have like a, a Jeopardy show. They're going to have uh, Star Trek panels, guests. Uh, again, I'm going to be there. Uh, I got my name King of the Bee Movies from Alternative Cinema in 1996 because a bunch of movies. I did six movies in 1996. And uh, I'm going to be there, but it is Barto Sci-Fi. It is at the 200 block of Main Street in Bartow between Wilson and Central. That's May 17th, 3 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And, and Kathy, guess what? What? They're going to play Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan on the side of a building as it gets, you know, dark time. As it gets dark time? Dark time is scary because that's when Freddy Krueger comes and I'm <laughs> awesome. scared of him. Don't go to sleep. Now, oh, and Al Alvarez right now is at the Sunscreen Film Festival. He's, you know... Checking out the chicks. Yeah. Working the red basically, carpet. Basically. This is his show, Al Alvarez. He's at the Sunscreen he abandoned it Film it Festival. Yeah. And then and then Ron Deshear up all night. We talked about that. Yes. And then we talked about www.joeldwinecoop.com. You can see all my movies there. And you and can, you can, you can purchase can, some too. On PayPal, yes, you can. And the Barto Sci Fi, we just talked about yes. that. I, I threw two index cards. Wait, Damn it. Did you do those? I didn't mean to. Ah. And then Heroes Haven. Whoa, look how close I got ah, to the camera. Cool. That was freaking awesome. awesome. And guess what? Al Alvarez, he's at the sunscreen film. Oh, oh that one sucked. That just <laughs> crashed. That's like Nothing. crash and burn. Yeah. And they, I want everybody to check out Joel D. Winecoops, the other side, dot com yeah. to see up. Ah, oh, not even. To see episode when yeah, David kind of Letterman funny. did it, it was cool. All right, well, and yeah, bigger. Heroes comics. Haven, free comic book day. Barto, sci fi, May 17th. Be there, it's going to be cool. Joel D. Winecoop dot com. You can. <laughs> Joel D. Winecoop dot com. You can check out some of my movies. Oh, and that, that one just sucked. It's not the Ron size of the card. Up all night .com. You gotta check. Man, these suck. I gotta get better cards to throw. It's not Al the size Alvarez of the card. Alvarez is at the Sunscreen. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> sunscreen <laughs> Film Festival and Joel D. Winecoop. Uh, oh, that was awesome. Uh, that, that was right over the camera. Awesome. And you know what we're gonna do real quick, Chris? Play that other clip. It's called... It's called... The Other Side? Uh, the, uh, the, the trailer for The Other Side. Play that. He's not going anywhere. He's staying here with me. 
If you want to take him out of here, you gotta come through me! Space time, preserve us! Quick, to the Zetamobile! <laughs> Sent my wife and my only child into a wormhole who I lost them forever! Well, anyway, never mind that. <laughs> Boys, I've got a big surprise for you here in the abandoned land. I can't stand it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Surrender to him? Never! I've been chased by demons and monsters and like the, it's like the night of living dead out here. Oh, 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 oh. I, I give you my word. Enough of this crap! We're taking you in! Boys, I've got a big surprise for you here in the abandoned land. I can't stand it. You stay out of this puke face! You stay out of this puke face! That was Keith Piasco, who is uh, awesome. He was in the movie Fury, the Tales of Ronan Pierce with me, and I met him there, told him about my television show, and I said, you got to come over, Keith, I'll put you in it. Now, also, Kathy, in the first clip we showed, we played um, uh, Anthony Wayne commands a scene. Mm -hmm. Now, that was from episode nine. Help me, who was in there so we can tell our audience? Uh, Amy Fox. Amy Fox, who I did, uh, was in Forensic Files with her. Robert A. Collins. Robert A. Collins was in that, yep. Uh, Mike Browning. Michael Browning was in it, yep. Michael uh, Browning's got a band, too. He's like a guitar player, I James think. James Knowlton. Singer. James Knowlton, who was also in, I got him in a kick-ass to Steve Nakoda way for the DVD release in uh, Lost Faith. So James Knowlton is also in the extra with me. Mikey Pelias. Mikey Pelias, who is this town's Spider-Man. Uh, Jewel Ciro. Jewel Ciro is in it, yep. Who? Cool, cool. Just won Best Supporting oh. Actor in the Zombie Film Challenge with you. Yeah. Hi. The, both won um, Best Supporting Actor in the Zombie Film well, Challenge. The, yes. The that was probably the extra card that you threw. Because that might have been one of those cards. Yeah, I got the, the thing here. But yes, it was the Zombie Film Challenge, mm -hmm. which was last Friday was Friday. the awards. The last Friday before that was some of the movies. And the last Friday before that. But yeah, um, then they had they had an award. And there's about eight actors. And Jules Ciaro and I tied for Best uh, Supporting, supporting Actor. actor. Mm -hmm. And uh, we walked up there. And the girl was holding the award, and, and I looked at Jules, and Jules looked at me, and I said, knock yourself out, brother. That's your award, man. And Jules grabbed that, and he was like, whoa, yes! <laughs> and uh, we both really enjoyed it. It was a fun night, and uh, I, 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 um, Jules has always said, and you saw Jules and Bob Glazier, uh, with, I think they were on last week. Yes. Weren't they on last I week think. with Bob, with um, Al? And Bob was also in that scene. And yeah, and then Bob Glazier was in that scene, the, the first one, Anthony commands the scene. James Santiago was in that scene. And James Santiago was in it. He was awesome. He he really he went nuts with his lines. Um, I told him you run with it, brother, and he did. And um, Al Alvarez, the Al host Alvarez. of behind the scenes, he was Don Tar. Barbara. Barbara Wilcox. Wilcox. And Patrick A. McCall was in that. Patrick scene. A. McCall was in it. Yes, he was. Patrick A. McCall. Patrick A. <laughs> McCall. Now we're running out of time. So then, and the trailer was uh, Jules Ciaro, Bob Glazer, uh, Anthony Nolten, Wayne, James Knowlton again. I yep, James Knowlton, Keith, Keith Piasco. Um, I don't know if Kelly Helen Thompson was in that scene, but I don't know if we I saw her. She's the girl I'm so. trying to save. Uh, 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 when I'm fighting Ken James Thornton. Was in it. Ken, Anthony. Ken Anthony. Ken Anthony is an actor here in town. And these, see, when I when I did this, I wanted to get as many of uh, the Tampa actors. I wanted to give them. Uh, a chance to really do some acting. Not not like they're not acting. Everybody's doing something. But, um, and, and there's there's an old thing in Hollywood with Ed Wood said it, or at least Johnny Depp said it as Ed Wood, saying about, oh, yeah, and I, I know all these guys are trying to just hire their friends. And you know what? what? What the hell is wrong with that? Because I would much rather have my friends surround me. And when I, I've, we've got Lost Faith, too, uh, mm -hmm. in production now. Screenplay is being written by um, screenplay master uh, Franklin Wales in uh, West Palm Beach. And uh, he is doing the screenplay. Cool. And uh, I hope when this thing comes out, I'm going to um, see about some financing. And I want to go to the actors that uh, I really like to be around. And, and you that's, can depend on. That I can depend on. Mm -hmm. And it's um, Bob Glazier's already got a part. I mean, if this thing pulls out, this is how I want it. Bob Glazier, Rod Grant, uh, Jules Sierra, um, uh, Robert Elfstrom. Um, oh, Kathy Winecoop. <laughs> I can't forget her. <laughs> I won't get any dinner. Oh, um, oh Chris. Chris yeah. wants her all. 
So anyway, um, well anyway, I, I hope you've enjoyed the show. We're winding down now, but I, I did want to say some things about you know the acting. It's it's really true to my heart. I, I'm an actor. I like acting. I'm, I'm you know I'm talking to Ron Shears people now of of doing something with them, and and we got you know the sci-fi thing. I'm gonna be a guest there, and we got Heroes Haven coming up. I would love it if you would check out www.joeldwinecoop.com and joeldwinecoopstheotherside.com. Um, what else? Have I missed anything in this last few minutes that we got? I think that was pretty much it. And Al Alvarez, of course, is out on the red carpet at the uh, Sunscreen Film Festival with Doug Vader's, who Doug, Doug wanted me there, and Al uh, punched it. Doug out and said, Doug, you'll work with me. If you try and get to work with Joel, I'll kill you. Yeah. So he's, Al threatened him like with that. his life. Yeah, he's, and, he's yeah and Doug, I don't mind if Doug didn't try to... You know, fight for well, me because Al's big. Yeah, that's true. He's a big guy. He's like a bear. Bigger than him. So. And he he could break Doug, and Doug would be like, ah. <laughs> he could break him. And Doug would be like, you know, okay, Al, you know, I love Joel, but oh, don't hit me, Al, don't hit me, Al, don't hit me, and then Al would just be like, snap, you'll do as I command. Yeah, that's true. And that's how that's how Al is. I know. Al he's... Al Alvarez is very brutal. Well, you know, when we did the scene, yeah, I had to. I mean, I'm looking up at him, but I was, I was tough because I was captain. So. Yeah, and he had that medallion yeah, hanging that medallion out of his chest. Like, uh -uh. And that, we have a blooper because because Kathy makes him put it away. Yeah. In the very next scene, the uh, medallion's back out again. Hey, we're gonna wrap it up. This is Joel D. Winecoop and Kathy Winecoop, and we're here for behind the scenes for Al Alvarez, who is now at the Sunscreen Film Festival. And we tried to Skype, and and we did some stuff, and we showed some movies, and us. we told you what's going on. So we had a great time here. We started 15 minutes late. It's whose fault? Gary's fault. Gary's fault. Gary's damn. Fault. And there's no posters on the back because Al didn't tell he me where they them. were. He stole them. I'll yeah. Them. So, so is that it? What do we got? What's our count, Chris? Minute, less than a minute. We're winding it up. So Al's going to see you next Wednesday night. No, Thursday. Next Thursday <laughs> night at 6.30 to 7.30. Wow. Behind the scenes with Al Alvarez. We're out of here. This program was brought to you by the Internet Broadcasting Organization, setting the standard for new media broadcasting.